Hello guys and welcome to some of the new products from ERP videos. Uh, this is an updated version of HP 7. HP 7 is the, the most common IDES version that's available because it's the most well-built IDES uh, available. The IDES EHP 4 was, I mean EHP 8 is built for HANA. It's not built as a non-HANA um, IDES and uh, SAP themselves have transported that into ASC and other databases and it causes a lot of crashes especially if you're learning uh, like a success factor integration and stuff like that it will crash uh, we know this from experience because we use EHP 8 in our training center so EHP 7 is the most stable and highly configured and highly tested version of the IDES from SAP and this has been updated by us uh, this is a release too that's updated by patch to 2018 um, it's built on the VMware uh, container. Uh, it's running MSSQL 2016, so the previous versions of 2014, 2012 have been updated to 2016. 2016 uses uh, uh, the RAM in your system a lot more efficiently. So our system is very, uh, we have 128 gigs of RAM on our main server. So this system has been allocated 64 gigs of RAM. Your, your particular machine might not have uh, this type of uh, uh, deployment, uh, but even if it's 16 GB, make sure you read the README file. It tells you what you need to do. Once you buy the VMware, again, something to specify is our VMwares are all from live classroom training, meaning we've trained with these VMwares. And uh, uh, it's virtualized from systems that are being used in the in the uh, in, in, in live classroom. It's very important for that because a lot of the patches, notes, and all of them have been installed by us already. This is very important when it comes to S4 HANA and some of the other training may not be applicable to non-HANA systems. But anyways, it's from real live training. Once you purchase to make sure you use uh, the latest version of RAR, WinRAR to uh, extract the files. And this video will be on the desktop. Uh, so will this readme file. The first thing to do is when you open it with VMware, make sure you click I copied. If you click I moved it, uh, it will reset the Windows license and you will lose your license for Windows. Make sure you say I copied. Uh, if you make the mistake, just delete that one and extract the files again. Okay. Make sure you set the IP address in host file. Very simple uh, stuff. Just find your IP address using CMD. And just type IP config and I'll show you where your file is, is uh, what your IP address is. So put that IP address on here. The solution manager IP address is not necessary. It's something that we we uh, it's for us to build the system and to patch it. You don't need it. Next thing to do is set the swap file. Go to system, advanced system settings, uh, performance. Click settings and change. Make sure you enter something like 50 to 60 if you have 16 gigs of RAM. Since we have 64 gigs, we've put a lower number here, 40, 40 uh, GB. And make sure you press set at the end of the time to set the RAM. I uh, set the swap file, I mean. And once that's done, you can go ahead and use your, your VMware. It's uh, Since we have 64 GB and it's running on an NVMe, it is incredibly fast. All systems, task, start, put your password from your... that's been given to you by email. You can see our system will go green in basically 10-15 seconds. Again, SSD plays a huge part. This is an IDIS machine, so remember that. Um, SSD, your hard drive is very important. Second most important thing is your RAM. Uh, if you're running HANA, RAM is the most important. Then followed by an SSD, it will not run on non-SSD devices properly. And you can see our uh, tables have started. and it'll go green in a few seconds maybe less than 30 there you go so in less than 10 seconds our systems have gone 15 seconds our systems have gone to all green you can open up the GUI uh, log into IDIS uh, oh. passwords have been changed from default so make sure you you check your system file for all passwords and uh, again, this is an updated version. You can see the license is 2025. Um, and uh, anything that would have gone wrong has already gone wrong for us. And we've patched it or updated it or whatever, installed product versions. 
since it's an item you can see portfolio project management all of these stuff has been installed access control process control whatever you need to learn is there in the IDIS version sometimes you need to do additional configuration in the IMG so let's take a look at the IMG uh, quickly SVRO and uh, reference IMG and then again all the configuration work happens over here so maybe a lot of stuff that you're not used to but again it's there we have IS banking separate release with the analyzer and stuff so check that out all right guys so this is uh, this is the the uh, Again, uh, this also has sub IDES components uh, such as the uh, uh, apparel and, and uh, military instruction sets. Okay, press continue. One thing that you can do to speed up, um, again, you can convert this particular IDES into all of this, any of these ones here, and it's already all the data is there. It's a matter of uh, setting the business functions, and it'll take about eight hours per conversion and you can't go back to your normal IDES. So if you were to convert this to insurance and activate changes, you cannot go back to your regular IDES, you lose everything. So um, something to keep in mind. And also uh, to speed it up, uh, remember to run SGEN. Uh, SGEN has an expiry date, so mostly it's 30 days. So after 30 days, it will recompile your changes again. So make sure you run SGEN, okay, SGEN and uh, generate all objects, select the components, and just go ahead and select or select all, and continue, and then just uh, run. We've run as gen, but if you bought this server within 30 days of us making the server, you're gonna have to run it again because uh, it's gonna start compiling products again. All right, guys, any other questions, just email us uh, using the contact form or ERP videos, okay? and. Uh, Keep an eye out for new products. Thank you.